Hey guys, so I never film in the car, but I'm still in the parking lot and I purchased something for $50 and I was excited because look at this. This is a speedy Louis Vuitton um, bag. It is authentic, guys. The only thing I would need to do, the only thing I would need to do is order the keys to this lock and I can get these keys um, off of eBay. But you know, just getting this bag clean, you see how it's like a little, green around here but I can get this conditioned and you know I really like the hands um, the handles patina like this and worn so I believe this is the speedy is it this is this the speedy 35 or speedy 40 oh actually it usually says the number of the make of the bag and I believe it is the 45. So it's a nice large duffel. There's no tears. I always wonder like, how are people just throwing this in the bag and just chucking it? Like, wouldn't they wanna pass this down? Anywho, I only got this because again, that was like my, my budget, $50. And then I got these jeans that I'll show you guys later um, for $6, some jean shorts. And I was just thinking about trying to distress them, rip them up, see how lucky I get with designing these. And I also got this beautiful, this beautiful top. It's linen. It's by the brand Lika. I'm not familiar with this brand, but I mean, for $4, I mean, I can take a chance on it. And it's linen. It, it's, I'm looking, I'm looking for the labels, but um, right here, it is a hundred percent This is 100% linen. So yeah, these are these are the items I got. I got this, the jean shorts, and the bag. And oh, I actually, I got one more thing. I got this. This was 50% off at $3, so it was $1.50. This was by the brand Carol's Daughter, and it's the anti-breakage spray. You guys know I'm like, in my hair repair journey. So I think I'm gonna try this. And, um, but you know what? I wanna go back inside just so I could just look around one more time. So let's do it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Clancy with 1013 Vintage where we talk quality thrifting, all things fancy. And I have some fancy things today. I went into the thrift store, you guys, listen, I normally don't even film the same day when I thrift because I like to go through my things. I like to see if there really are any holes or any damage to the, to the pieces that I grab because I'm supposed to be encouraging you guys to thrift good quality pieces. And normally I'll grab stuff and realize by the time I get home, It is a total mess. But I think I grabbed a couple of things today. I showed you guys in the video already because well, I was driving and I, I, what I did was I went into the thrift store, took a tour. I actually went in there with a budget, y'all. I went in there with a budget telling myself I was gonna only spend no more than $75. I went in there and the thing that I saw last week was still there but it was on sale, so I had to get it. 
I had to get it. You guys saw that I presented the, um, I got a speedy bag. I did spend $50 on it. Let me show you again. Um, and you know what? I, I feel like it's a good $50. Like it's not really tore, torn. It's, it's no damage to the outside of the bag. That's the good thing about LV canvas. Like you don't see any tears. Right, this is a authentic bag, and um, the the handles are soiled, but I'm thinking of like wrapping them with something, like getting those little scarves, and you know the whole thing. The whole thing that I love about thrifting is that I can go and find any kind of silk scarf and cut the scarf in half so I can have them on both sides. Yeah, so I'm going to see if I can wrap these up. Another thing is, is that I have to make sure I have the key to this. And I do have multiple keys for um, LV locks. I may not have this number, which the easy thing about this is, is you can order um, LV locks on eBay. So they're roughly about, probably about 25 to uh, $30. So I will take a look to see if I can locate the number to this, to this lock. This was not standing out for folks to grab. Let me share my little story. So as I was actually checking out to purchase my, my jean shorts that I was looking for, um, it was too crowded in the thrift store today that I couldn't even function. And you know that is very rare. So I ended up going leaving out, but this was sitting in the back like it was on hold for someone. So. I asked about the bag and the woman stared, stated that one of the workers was going to purchase the bag. But when the manager overheard her say that to me, basically he said that um, the customer has the first opportunity to purchase the bag before the workers do. I felt so bad for that girl. <laughs> Because I said, yes, I will take that because you are not, this is a good bag. Yes, the, the handles are worn, but that's what you want. You you want a nice worn in bag. And um, that's, that's where my money went. I was like, I just walked in to just grab some shorts and look. And also, you know, you this is the keyhole where you can zip it and attach both the locks, um, both the, the locks to um, make sure the bag is secured. Um, so I'm gonna look into the, um, the key. Jeez, I got this bag back. I used to have this bag. Actually, this is the, the, the 45. I think I had the 50. I had either had this one or a larger size and I sold it, but yeah, I, I heard that they are discontinuing um, this keep all. I know, you know, last night I watched um, uh, Pharrell's um, new line from Louis Vuitton and he had some really cute stuff there. Um, I didn't see this particular um, monogram bag um, in this canvas coated one, but I did see them that he had it in a range of different colors. He had yellows and greens and I mean, this is just a classic bag. I don't even know why I sold it in the first place. It's always good to keep a little piece of vintage um, with you. So I did get this. Okay, so you guys know, and I, I don't know if I'm showing you guys the clip before or after, but what I did was I purchased the bag and the shorts, and I sat for a few minutes in the car. I've never left out the thrift store with like three pieces, which I know, I know, I always try to look for quality pieces, and that doesn't necessarily mean quantity, but I felt empty. <laughs> I was like, maybe I should go back in here and, get, and just do a double take, but that's what gets you in trouble. You go back, and they're always putting out at the thrift store. They're always putting out new inventory. But I did, let me show you the other pieces I got. I got these. 
I got these jean shorts. I tried these on over my pants, um, thinking I could probably distress these, you know, kind of rip them up, put them in a wash, see um, what comes, what, what's the, um, what look will I get after I distress these up? So these are vintage Levi's. Um, these were only, these were only six dollars. So I don't mind if these get messed up, right? I thinking probably throwing paint or bleach, maybe not bleach, but just kind of um, distressing them, maybe putting a couple of cuts here. I'm gonna show a before and after. Um, maybe I'll do that in another video because guys, you know, if you guys have been watching me, you know I have my army jackets that I have to design too. So I'm all into this recreating, reworking pieces for my wardrobe. I have everything in here, but I have to actually release it and put it actually into work. So. That will be my plan. I did get these. These are super cute. I'm gonna try these on to make sure I can fit these. And then, oh, y'all you know, know what else I got? Um, and I showed this in a quick video. I got this, it was 50% off of um, everything except for yellow tags. So I got this 50% off of $3. So I got this for $1.50. And this is um, anti-breakage um, spray. So it's a repairing Carol's daughter. Cause y'all know, y'all know your girl need help. We're trying to get this back until it's healthy state of mind. So I did get that. And guys, that's what I got. I got the bag, the jeans, um, the Carol's daughter, and then I got this beautiful linen top. I'm gonna try this on, but I mean, this just looked luxury to me. This just looked lightweight linen. Can the camera get this? Look at this. It's like a poncho style linen. And guys, this was this was this was full price, but where are you getting a four dollar linen top? that looks like it's in really good condition. I felt like I saw a stain somewhere that I could probably try to put in the cleaners. So this is actually like a jacket. This is like a jacket. There is a stain, look at this. I see it. You see it, it's right here. But I don't know. I'm gonna try to figure out what I can do um, or just try to see if I can bring it to the cleaners. But I don't know if the cleaners really like do like the blot test. Okay. And this is by the brand, um, Lika? I don't know, I'm not familiar with this brand either. Lika, okay. So Clancy left with these items. Guys, I sat in the car. I think I sat in the car for like 15 minutes just looking at people going in and out and I was just saying to myself, I want to know what they got in their carts. I want to know what they are taking home. I saw this one lady, she had a full carriage that she drove to her vehicle and literally emptied it out because you you have to actually um, bring your own recyclable bags in the, in the thrift store. And she didn't bring hers, but she walked out with a full load of a carriage of clothes and that was just, I've never left the thrift store with that much stuff. I I don't know if she was buying for her family or I don't know, or for organization, but she had too much stuff. I, on the other hand, really tried to streamline the things that I'm looking for. And now that I'm really focusing on like the quality of the materials that I'm trying to get, linens, um, fine uh, laces, leather, um, no to polyester. Y'all would be amazed at how much stuff I've passed out that was made of polyester. I'm actually doing a good job. However, I went back into the store and guys, this is where this recyclable bag came into place. 
I went in and found some some more stuff. Okay, let me show you. Because, you know, we are thinking vacation. Look at this. And this was full price because don't forget, it was 50% off of everything except for um, yellow tags. This is a bathing suit. And I just loved, guys, do you love the colors? Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, how much do I love the colors on this? And the good thing about this was, it's brand new with tags. J. Crew. Ah, oh, I love this. I hope I'm able to fit this. Um, it's a size 10. And if not, I'll probably just upload it. Um, this this gives this gave me like the vintage bathing suit style. Love this. Okay. Look at this. I know, Zara. I couldn't help it. Brand new Zara skirt. Their price was seventy dollars. Can you guys imagine going to Zara and paying $70 for this when you can go to the thrift store and pay, <laughs> pay $8. Yeah. I like this. I can't wait to wear this one. This is really cute. It's a size medium. It has really gold buttons going down and yeah. Love this. I also found another bathing suit. This one is like a halter style. Look at this. And all of this is gonna go in the wash, even the one with the tags. I'm putting everything in the wash. Um, this one is super cute. I just liked how the back is styled. I don't know if people are wearing this as a bathing suit or a bodysuit. This is a bathing suit because it's it's lined like a bathing suit. But I really like the color. I think the color will look really nice on me. And I love the material of this. All right, I have two more items. Guys, look at these. Aren't these super cute? Ah, these are a python sandal. Look at this, by Alexander Wang. Ah. This is the problem. I went back in there, shouldn't have, went back in there, but look at the things that I find when I go back in. Python. Look at this. These were $25. I did pay $25 for them because these are so worth it. I just love, look at these. I love how this design is. And they fit perfectly. And last but not least, ah, this was the winner. This is Stella McCarthy. This is super cl clean. Oh, I also got some glasses. This inspired me because I felt like these were, like these were, the ones that Pharrell had are super smaller than these, but the whole circle rim just gave me inspo. That's what I do. I look at the, the fashion presentations and I tell myself, self, Clancy, go into the thrift store and try to find something that um, will match the same look. So um, these are super cute, like these. But guys, can we go back to the Stella McCarthy bag? This is pristine, pristine, pristine condition. It has a little Stella McCarthy here. And 
I think that's all it is. I don't see any other labeling. Um, the chain is so heavy. I have to make sure with Stella McCarthy bags, um, is there any other labeling in here? Just to make sure it's authentic, but it feels great. It feels great and this looks like it wasn't clamped on. It looks like it was made part of the bag. So I will look this up, but I got Stella McCarthy for, how much was this? This bag was $12.99, regular tag. Regular tag was $12.99. This is so worth it, because I feel like Stella McCarthy is like in, in its hundreds. So guys, if you enjoyed some of these finds that I showed you guys today, please click like, share, tell a friend. I'm gonna upload some of these items on my shop, 1013vintage.com. Have you guys checked out my site? I'm working, I'm working, I'm working overtime trying to get that uploaded for everyone. We are well on our way to 1,000 subscribers. Please support, subscribe. You know, when I hit 1,000 subscribers, I would love to send three complimentary um, comp boxes to um, my favorite folks that have been supporting me. Um, I am gonna do a live draw and it's going to be filled with some of the items that I love to thrift. If you guys wanna get more information, please go to 1013vintage.com. I'll have a little excerpt of what to expect when we reach 1K. We are almost there. Guys, I appreciate you all so much. If you guys are interested in watching another video, click the, the button over here to continue watching. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.